Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, not been around for a while, just been doing, been pretty busy doing a few other bits and bobs. Uh, but I've got a nice easy one for you today. This is a HP, I don't know what it is. Paperwork here. It's a HP 15 DW0012NA. This machine uh, needs a, a new battery. Uh, so what we're going to do is remove the back cover. Well, before we move the back cover, we move these rubber strips first of all. And we've got to be careful that we don't rip them off because they can easily split in parts and putting them back on or getting hold of new ones is a bit of a nightmare. Same, there's one here and under these rubber strips uh, will reveal um, a, a few screws. Uh, uh, there's a couple of screws here as well to take out. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you a little trick uh, that I use to, to remove uh, bits of rubber that have you know, got bonding on the other side. So get a bit of uh, uh, alcohol and there's a link in the description below of where you can get some. You can get various sizes. I, I use, you know, get the biggest one available because I'm already using quite a bit. Put a bit of alcohol in there. Sometimes you can put a little bit on at the end of a spudger tool. Uh, again, the link for these things will be in the descriptions below. And then slowly you can just, you can see it's coming out quite easily. Put a bit more alcohol in there and tilt it, tilt it down. Actually, this one's not too bad. And the alcohol's flowing right down. And there you go. That will dry up soon and you can still use uh, the, the adhesive that's already on there. Let's do this one as well. The alcohol down it, tilt it to one side. And I don't need to use the spudger tool. You just slowly peel it off. I've uh, got a couple of screws here, one there and four at the top. So I'll move the, uh, the ones at the bottom first. They're just like so. And these ones will be a little bit different to the other ones. I'm going to have to poke myself and inject myself with some alcohol. Don't want that. See, these, these ones are a bit longer. They're all the same size, you can keep them together. Battery needs charging. My screwdriver. Okay, so I'm going to use a, a blade uh, or a an opening tool, which I've got here. You can just use one of these. And you just pop off the bottom cover, base cover. Easily pop off now. The one screw is on the floor, I just dropped it, so I'll just hold that if I can see it. That's on my chair, so there you go. And always, always have a quick look uh, for any you know, major issues with dust around the fan. This one looks pretty clean. Um, and there's the battery. The battery's got uh, three three screws. So, let's remove the screws for the battery. And we'll just pop the battery off. Like so, at ah, this four screw one at the end. I didn't see. Okay, so I've got the replacement battery here. I use this one, it's a, a brand called Green Cell. I've sold quite a few of these and fitted quite a few of these, never had any issues. Looks, looks pretty decent. This one is a, let's compare the two batteries. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Fine, let's put that in its place. 
and what I'd, what I'd recommend when you're putting new batteries in and when you want to fit them are you know it's good to do a, a few uh, full full charge cycles so uh, charge them to 100 percent and use them uh, without any charge um I my uh, magnetized screwdriver is no longer magnetized I need to magnetize it again but yeah so uh, back to the cycles again you can charge the battery to 100 percent use it off charge down to about five percent and um, again charge it up to 100 percent and do the same thing so do that about three times and that kind of optimizes the, the life of the battery you'll get your money's worth out of it that's for sure um, and the battery that uh, the battery model uh, that's in here is a HT um, 03XL that's what you can search for or, or you know if you can't get hold of one of these then um, what you could do is look at the replacement HP part which is uh, this one here so that tells you there what it is it's the L double one double one nine eight double five just there and that will kind of you know put that into eBay or wherever or uh, Amazon and you get the the correct model number uh, for the right battery okay so that's pretty much it um, just remember to put the all the screws back correctly okay again make sure that when you when you push it in everything clips into place Before you do that I'd recommend that you just well I should have done that at the beginning um, switch the machine on there may be some power in the battery there may there may not be no nope, this one hasn't got any charge whatsoever so I do need to plug in a charger I'll just grab one of those I've got a charger here and it's Plug on the charger and look for the light to come on. Okay, so you can see that. Whoops, is now charging. Um, so I'll just fire it up. Okay, the fan's spinning. So basically, that's that's kind of like job done, really. Um, and what I generally would do as well. When we look at the state of the machine; it's absolutely disgusting. I'll, I'll clean it up as well once I've. Uh, all the screws back it will come up with a, a CMOS uh, reset uh, sign because uh, the the machine uses the, the battery as the bias battery as well it hasn't got a separate one on this this particular particular one so it'll take a few minutes and um, it's going through something but it's on I can hear the fans and that spinning the screens displaying up in there as you can see okay so job done hope you like the video um please like and subscribe it keeps the channel growing and keeps me motivated to do more for my viewers for my uh, subscribers so we'll see you on the next one thank you for watching